Chapter 37 of Isaiah is an amazing story that picks up after the general of the Assyrian army has denigrated and insulted Jehovah, the one true God, by comparing him to the false idols of nations that have already been captured. When King Hezekiah hears the words of the Assyrian general, he tore his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth in mourning. But here's where we see King Hezekiah make the right decision. Not just once, but twice in this chapter. Every time King Hezekiah receives word from the Assyrians, he submits it to God and asks God not just to deliver Jerusalem, but also to defend his holy name. Verses 18 through 20 say, Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they were destroyed. So now, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone are the Lord." That's an amazing prayer, recognizing that God alone is capable of saving Jerusalem, and that he alone is worthy of honor and glory in all kingdoms and nations. But how does this story end? Well, God predicts the downfall of the Assyrian king and then proceeds to send the angel of the Lord, who struck down 185,000 Assyrian soldiers in one night. King Hezekiah started off this story with first trying to rebel against Assyria, then appeasing Assyria with tribute, but ultimately, he has no way of delivering Jerusalem apart from God. Today, let's remind ourselves of two things. First, God hears our prayers for deliverance when we're going through trials. We need to turn to him just like Hezekiah did when he was confronted by the enemy. Second, God will use those times of trial for his glory and our benefit. By the end of this chapter, the Assyrian army is in disarray and is headed back to Nineveh in shambles. It's God alone who brings victory and every good thing we have is a gift from his hand. So remember, the God of hosts, the God over angel armies is always by our side, and that's something we can take comfort in today.